What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to talk about my off-season workouts. Now if you've been following my channel at all, you know I preach that fitness is one of the biggest X factors in getting better at golf. And it's consistently one of the biggest things that moves the needle for me. The more fit I get, the better I get at golf. It becomes easier to implement technique, it becomes easier to implement new swing changes, and also further capitalize on the swing changes I'm making. Case in point, if you haven't seen my Ground Force episode yet with Ryan Hawley, incredible episode, incredible lesson. It drove my entire psyche this off season. I worked obsessively on getting my body in a position to pull off this move at high speeds, and I'm still working on that. A big thing for me is getting my core like just absolutely bulletproof so that I can not only turn, but then also hold the club, squat, and go, right? Being able to get that full turn is something that I couldn't do for a long time. From all the years of sitting in my day job, my hip flexors were super tight. It would really hurt to just get to here. Now I can do a full turn in my swing and I don't feel nearly as much pain. I'm, I'm almost able to get a full turn without feeling any impingement in this left hip. Where all this came from is from doing HIIT workouts five days a week. I do the Insanity Max 30 program I follow this religiously. I started doing this last March, and this has been my blueprint workout because it's the only thing I found that keeps me strong and mobile for golf. I was struggling last year when I bulked up. I got really strong, got really powerful, but I didn't have the mobility. I didn't have the ability to turn. I didn't have the ability to kind of get separation and more dynamic athleticism. In this program, I'm constantly jumping and doing dynamic movements that are forcing me to be more athletic, which has then allowed me to translate that to the golf swing. Because if you've seen my ground force episode, the big thing I have to do is I have to turn. And as I'm turning, I have to get into my left leg and then push, right? So being able to do this and control it, hold my core, right? But it's at the same time, get a full turn, hold my core, hold the club, squat down and go. That takes a lot of strength to not only pull that off, but to do it at the right time. So this program to me has been incredible. And part of what validates that, if you again, if you haven't seen the episode, when I got my ground force assessment done in December, I can now push over 300% of my body weight through my feet like my vertical peak is 300% of my body weight. That is elite, like long driver territory. PJ Tour average is around 200%. That's all from doing these kind of workouts. So it's, it's not anything special or crazy. It's just following this religiously every single day, five days a week. Now, when the weather was terrible, I would sometimes pepper in some two-a-days. So I would do, you know, my hit training in the mornings, and then I would cycle in some extra chest press, rows, uh, chin-ups, things like that for back day. For legs, I do a lot of squats. I don't like doing barbell squats or, or even deadlifts because I'm not trying to put any extra strain or do anything that's gonna cause me any injury. So I use kettlebells or dumbbells and do squats kind of like this. Injury prevention has been huge. I found, again, from doing the HIIT training and staying there, my body is able to do that and play a ton of golf without any injury issues. If anything, I'm getting stronger, I'm getting better. I feel way better now than I did five years ago when I was just sitting in a studio all day. And I'm infinitely more active now and putting my body through way more. So that's been transformative. The other accessory work I do is obviously I do an arm day and shoulders. So I'll add those in as accessory days and sometimes instead of doing the full five day program, I'll do hit on Monday, I'll do chest and back Tuesday, legs Wednesday, arms and shoulders Thursday, and then hit on Friday. And that's how I structure it out. Now I also do my workouts Sunday to Thursday, and I take Friday and Saturday as my rest days, but it's just easier to explain it Monday to Friday for you. So that's how I structure it out, and that was my split. The other thing I do on top of all this is knee health and knee protection. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Knees Over Toes Guy on Instagram. Follow him and buy his book on Amazon if you can and follow his knee protocol. The reason why I got into doing this, I started doing this about a year ago 
was simply because I know that I use my knees a ton, obviously in golf, I'm walking a ton. I want my knees to be healthy. The other thing is from seeing my assessment with Ryan Hawley, because I'm pushing 300% of my body weight through my knees, through my ankles, I know I'm gonna need strong knees and ankles in order to keep myself healthy and allow me to play. And so I follow his protocols. I walk backwards on the treadmill before every workout when I would go to the gym. Um, I do all of those things. So there's some quirky things he does, but they seem to work and I'm a believer. So definitely worth checking out. And that's pretty much it. That is my standard routine. I'm either doing five days of hit or I'm doing two days of hit a week and three days of strength training. And I alternate between those, you know, either every two weeks or every month, depending on what I feel like I need more of out of my game and out of my body. This program is, is worked well for me. I keep it very simple. I think if there's anything I can offer in terms of golf improvement and advice, and I know I'm not an expert and I know there are people that are smarter than me and, and I'm, I'm not saying I know anything, but the one thing that always consistently delivers for me is showing up at the gym and making sure I'm taking care of my body because regardless of golf, having a better body is just better for life. But having a better body is definitely better for golf. I cannot recommend that enough. The reason why you struggle to hit long irons, the reason why you struggle to hit the ball consistently is simply because the machine of your swing is not set up to do it. If you set up the machine, golf becomes way different and it's a different feeling. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'm constantly posting hitting four irons as a set of progress because to me, the ability to hit a four iron high and far is a sign of being able to have a strong core, strong arms, strong legs, and just get through that swing with control. If you can hit a straight high four iron, that is like the ultimate success in my opinion of strength training translating to golf. This is my fitness program that I follow. This is what I still do every day. I love it. I feel way better. I've never been in better shape in my life. And I think this has put me on the best path to achieving my goal of playing pro golf. So 